Hi, my name is Balwant and I welcome you all to my channel Binary Heart. Today we will dive into understanding of vector database. A vector database is a specialized type of database designed to store and search vectors. Vectors are numerical representation of data like words, sentences, images or even user behavior. Think of vector as a mathematical fingerprint that captures the meaning or essence of something. For example, this sentence, what is generative AI, might be converted into a vector like this numerical array, a list of 384 or 1536 numbers. This vector captures its semantic meaning not just keywords, words are transformed into numerical vectors. Sentences are represented as vectors capturing their meaning. Images are converted into vectors or semantic analysis. User behavior is vectorized to understand patterns to derive semantic meaning. Let's understand it with real world analogy. Imagine a library where books are not organized by title or author but by how similar their stories are. Romance novels are grouped together. Sci-fi books are near each other. A book about spa space exploration is closer to interstellar than to a cookbook. A vector database does this for data. It organizes information by meaning not just by Keywords. Why are vector databases useful for LLMs? LLMs like GPT-4 are powerful but they have limitations. LLMs do not know your private or internal data. So use VectorDB to give them context. LLM can't remember past interactions. Use VectorDB to store conversation vectors. LLMs may hallucinate or give generic answers. Use VectorDB to ground responses in real data. Vector databases help LLMs become smarter, faster and more relevant by providing contextual memory. Vector databases provide contextual memory, improved relevance and faster response to LLMs. However, you need to take care of data privacy concerns, complex setup and high maintenance. Let's take an example of customer support chatbot scenario. You are building a chatbot for your SaaS product. Problem statement is the LLM does not know your product specific features or support documents. Solution? use a vector database. Let's understand it step by step. First step, ingest knowledge base. Second step, take your product help, articles, FAQs and user guides, convert them into vectors. Use an embedding model to turn each article into a vector and store in the vector DB. Third step for user asks like how do I export my data in CSV format? Fourth step is what system does is it converts the question into a vector. Searches the vector DB for most similar vectors for example relevant articles. Finds or search for how to export data PDF or CSV a perfect match. Fifth step Read result to LLM. Provide the retrieved article as context and the LLM response is based on this document. Here is how to export CSV. Result accurate, fast and grounded response without retraining the LLM. Vector databases key benefits for product teams. First, fast semantic Search. Find relevant info by meaning, 
नॉट जस्ट बाई की वर्ड्स पर्सनलाइजेशन मैच यूजर क्वेरीज टू पास बिहेवियर और प्रिफरेंसेस फर्स्ट एफिशियंसी अवॉइड फाइन ट्यूनिंग यूज रिट्राइवल इंस्टेड अप टू डेट नॉलेज अपडेट वेक्टर डिबे विदाउट रिट्रेनिंग दी एल एल एम एलेबिलिटी हैंडल मिलियंस ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स विथ लो लेटेंसी तो विच वेक्टर डेटा बेस शुड वी चूज फॉर अवर प्रोजेक्ट पॉप्युलर वेक्टर डेटा बेसिस आर फाइन कोन इट्स क्लाउड नेटिव इजी टू इंटीग्रेट वीवीएट इज ओपन सोर्स कैन स्टोर डेटा एंड वेक्टर्स Milvus is high performance scalable. Quadrant is lightweight, good for edge use cases. Chroma LansDB is great for prototyping and local use. Many are offered as managed services. No need to set up on your own or from scratch. When should you use a vector database? If your product involves semantic search for example find articles duplicate detection or clustering recommendation engines personalized content feeds ai chatbots with internal knowledge no need to use vector database if you only need simple keyword search your data is tiny and static you are not using ai or llms A vector database is the memory layer of AI systems. It stores embeddings, enables similarity search, and makes large language intelligent retrieval possible. Without it, LLMs would rely only on their static training and hallucinate more often. Thank you for watching this video. Please press the like button and subscribe to my channel.